Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today I have two different perspectives in this video for you. The first half of this video is going to be of myself in the 114 SP2, which was, I believe, a Ranked Battles Award vehicle. And the second half of this video is going to be from TB Ray's perspective, because as you can see here, there's three of us in this platoon. Uh, and he is going to be in the M48 Patton. The first half of this replay, this battle definitely highlighted a lot more action for my perspective and the second half obviously for TV rays as you will see here in a few moments the beginning of this battle starts out pretty routine you know I'm heading over to the heavy tank flank I'm playing this thing as basically a lightly armored heavy tank most of the time I don't find any reason to sit at the back and treat like it's a tank destroyer or really be too much of that support role I just have to accept that this thing is huge and not that fast and has absolutely no armor if you don't know anything about it it's got a 650 alpha gun and like I've said twice already, I think it has uh, not much for the protection category. So it's I really like the gun on this thing. I do I do like this tank, but it's not fantastic by any means. Uh, something that's worth noticing on this map or on this battle. Look at the mini map. Do you see any IS-7s doing anything unusual? And do you notice that there's a platoon of three IS-7s on the enemy team? Well, I'm about to notice that in this battle. At this moment, I'm busy fighting with RIS-7. Uh, we're trying to occupy the same piece of real estate, and that obviously does not work too well. And looking at those IS-7s on the minimap that I still haven't really noticed. Oh, there it is. I'm noticing now. I'm thinking, you know what? I should probably go help. That's going to be a problem. We're going to be surrounded by these IS-7s, having them on one side and other vehicles on every other flank. So I'm going to go as fast as I possibly can and get in there and try to help before my teammates die because they are outnumbered and I'm assuming that these IS-7s are probably going to be smart enough to work together as a team and they are definitely taking our 277 down pretty quickly in the hit point category and there he goes just like that. Now it's a good old 3v3, the 780, the Char Future 4 and myself versus these three IS-7s. I'm going to see if I can pick away at the lower hit point one as much as possible. That doesn't help when you miss a shot completely. And even though I'm going to be trying to aim for the lower hit point vehicles here, they're not necessarily going to give me the opportunity, and I'm not going to sit around while I've got a shell ready to, to, to fire when I don't have the opportunity. See there, as soon as I fired that other IS-7, maybe he was playing it that way, but the one on 11 hit points there decided to pop back out. And I wanted to use the shot on him, but, uh, you know, didn't really have the opportunity. Again, I want to hit the one on 11 hit points, but I can't because he's back around the corner. Maybe he's paying attention. He must be watching under the corner of his eyes and see. But now, luckily, there is actually two of them on a one, as a one-shot kill. But I need to reload as quickly as I can, get myself into cover, try not to get shot by all three of them at the same time. And, again, they're being smart. The one that's at almost full health, or, well, now under half health, is uh, going to pick at me, and he's going to push me out here. I don't have much choice now but to take shots from all three. I want to try to get the shot off at the one that's on low hit points, try to finish one of them off, and I managed to do that. They were lining themselves pretty up pretty good for a while there. I thought they weren't going to let me shoot anything except the IS-7 with the most hit points that I couldn't kill and keep all three of them alive at the same time. I'm wanting to get this other IS-7 out of here now, but I can't because that gun barrel of the dead IS-7 is right in my face. That's so annoying. But uh, you know what? One good thing that happens here, luckily artillery is paying attention. A little bit late to help me, but there's one more IS-7 down. Only one remaining. So most of that city's problems are hopefully taken care of. Now we're switching over to TB Ray's view. So far, not much has happened in this battle. This is going to be the second shot of damage he's done right there, or not, never mind. He shot that Skoda T-50 once already, as you can see in the damage log in the bottom left. He's going to try to get a second shot in there, and that one does make contact, get, putting that Skoda T-50 down to a one-shot kill, which is excellent. Now, the very keen eye of you may have noticed that we actually went back about two minutes in this replay here, so don't be too confused when you see me die a second time in the kill feed. Uh, if you look at the minimap there, you can see what's going on with my fight. But now, TB Race is fighting this Badger head-on. That's not really a tank you want to fight head-on too much, especially when you're alone. The Badger does have pretty good frontal armor, except for that lower plate. Luckily, TB Race, especially with those premium rounds, will have no problem penetrating the lower plate of that Badger. Maybe even certain spots of the upper structure if needed. But it's not needed. That Badger is now dead. Now, he wants to try to get a shot at this patent tank over here. Can he do so? He does. There he goes. He picked up his third kill already. Three kills since we joined him, since I started rambling on about his world of tanks experiences today and now behind him there is a problem this chief and p the trifuture is coming in and he's also being supported by a tbp 5051 
perhaps, depending on if he wants to be brave or not. So TB Race is going to poke down here and see what he can do about that. The Chieftain is going to give the first shot at the upper plate from above, so it doesn't really matter if there's armor there or not, it'll go through it. And the Charfew Chair here, remember, does have no armor, basically, but it also has that extremely well-angled upper frontal plate there that TB Race just shot and got the auto ricochet on, unfortunately. And that Charfew Chair manages to put a shot into him, but luckily for TB Race, that Chieftain P made a mistake and got himself killed. And now it is the ball in his is in TB Ray's court here to try to get the kill on the Charfew Chair. The Charfew Chair was caught looking the wrong direction, maybe reloading or distracted by our other friend here in the 277. TB Ray is now looking for his next victim as our other friend here, No 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 Joe, aka Noah, goes off and gets himself killed to the, t to the TVP. Oh well, no big deal. TB Race is going to poke around the corner here, see if he can get a shot up with that 277. Hopefully nothing back there like the K91 wants to shoot him. But something tells me that K91 is not there anymore. Why do you ask that? Well, you'll see here in just a second. Uh, spoiler alert, perhaps? The TBP makes his own mistake. I love it when enemies make mistakes. And now TB Race wants to get a shot on that IS-7, but just can't quite do that through all these buildings, given the route the IS-7 is taking. Maybe, perhaps, TB Race can get a shot at the front of him. No, not at all. He just didn't quite give him that opportunity. Very close. That would have been very nice to get that vehicle out of this game, but it didn't happen. Instead, he gets to shoot the very trolley armor of the side of the 277. The 277 putting a shot through TB Race's turret without too much issue whatsoever. Now, this could be a problem if the 277 pushes down the hill, given that he really does have a massive hit point advantage over TB Race here, who is going to switch to a better ammo type. And, well, just to make things worse, there is a full health K91. Now, luckily, the K91 does not have a turret, and TB Race has the, the peace of mind, the, the presence of mind to, to get around behind this K91 and even track him in the process, knowing that he should be safe behind him as long as his 277 or any other allies of his come down here and challenge him, which it looks like. Uh, the 277 up top is detracted by the VZ and the T54E1, letting TB sit here and absolutely feast on this K91, assisted or lack thereof, <laughs> sort of, by his allied artillery. And the IS-7 wants a piece of it, and that's okay. TB Race is going to finish off that last IS-7. This Renacerante here could be a problem. He has lots of hit points left, and yeah, that. It's game over. That was already... I think TB Rays was very happy with this, or would have been very happy with this, given how long he survived when it looked like he was absolutely doomed. And just in case you're wondering where that other vehicle came from that was in the camera's face after TB Rays died, it was an artillery trying to shotgun him, trying to get his own moment of glory. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you see you around later. Have a good one.